Are you with me? That is what the cross did. Jesus looked at them and said, ah, It is expedient that I go. Because all these things we have been doing without the help of the Holy Spirit is an effort in futility. Have you, are you a pastor? How many years have you pastored? Three years. Okay, me, I've been a pastor since 2013. And I know that one of the hardest things to do is to pastor without the help of the Holy Spirit. As you are pastoring your people, they are committing fornication. You will come and call a young man like this and give him the best advice on earth. As he's living, he's doing another thing. When the young lady have messed up, he will now come and ask, I don't know what came over me. And you can't do anything because you are a pastor. You take the person back. Do you know why? The ministry of the Holy Spirit is not strong. If he's strong, there are many people here. When their prayer life is dropping, there is somebody that said, I will, when the person will sleep, I will walk into your vision like this. And say, my friend, wake up and pray. Wake up. And, what's that one? I don't need to be there because my a certain measure a greater aspect of my life has been reduced to reality are you with me the implication of that is that the spirit can work with it do you know why many pastors are inefficient there is not much reality in your life there is nothing the spirit can work with it is true it is sad but it is true believe me I'm a, my father is a pastor I'm one I was ordained pastor in training 19 years so this ministry thing I didn't even enjoy myself is your father a pastor you look like one father's father you look like me I was, the way you are looking is the way I was looking and I was looking innocent like you until fire came on me. Jesus. Say fire. You need fire. Anyway, that was not my point. So you look at an average pastor. All they are doing is activities. Packaging. Many things that there is no reality inside. A man will be panting after the great one. People will appear in their congregation having many things that their heart yearn and seek after. But because they have not touched reality and the average church and pastor have not touched reality, they are not able to model the portrait of the true God. Give me volume. See, I have found out that it is not as if this our generation doesn't want God. It is simply because we have no more dealt before them the God that they seek. The scripture said, for Jesus to be able to convince his disciples of the scope and dimension of the ministry that is about to come. He said, he came with invaluable proofs. He said, he showed himself alive after his passions. That is not the kind of encounter you finish and begin to question things. When the apostles finished from there and the Holy Ghost came in the day of Pentecost, all of them were looking for who to die first. If that's not the day you will beg people, they say, that your mother will come and say, if, 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 your father will say, if you don't stop this prayer you are doing, if you don't stop, I will not pay your school fees. It's an honor for some of us. For God's sake, what is school fees? Have you not asked people that finished university five years ago? What are they doing? Oga, when did you finish university? It has been two years now, Abi. When? 217, Abi. It's three years. Where is your G? My brother, let me tell you. Many things that people seek after is the very thing that is distracting them 